Welcome to Pharmaceutical Calculations, a Conceptual Approach, Lesson 4, Aliquot Method of Weighing. Uh, today's objectives are to describe and explain the different steps involved in the aliquot method of weighing and use this novel method to prepare compounded prescriptions that call for a drug amounts more than the least allowable weight at a given maximum allowable error. Now, to my knowledge, this is the only method that can be used to weigh a drug amount less than the least allowable weight without exceeding the maximum allowable error. For example, as we have learned in lesson 2, it would be impossible to weigh 10 mg of a drug with a maximum allowable error of 5% on a balance of SR 6 mg. We can calculate the least allowable weight using equation 1.5. So the least allowable weight is equal to the SR over the percent error times 100. So this is 6 times 100, so 600, over 5, and this is 120 milligrams. So if you attempt to weigh directly 10 milligrams of a drug on a balance, you will exceed a lot the 5% maximum allowable error. Before proceeding to the description of the method, uh, I just need to emphasize that you cannot use this method unless the prescription clearly states that the drug can be mixed with exhibients, such as lactose or starch. And the reason is that um, it could happen that although the exhibients are pharmacologically inert when they're used alone, uh, when they are mixed, when they are mixed with a the drug, they may cause, um, they may affect, adversely affect, for example, the dissolution rate and the availability of the drug. So before you use this method, make sure, make sure that um, you, that the prescription states clearly that the drug can be mixed with other recipients. Let me give you a snapshot of the method before, you, before we proceed to the detailed description of the method. So basically, <clears throat> the drug amount initially prescribed is less than the least allowable weight. So, and, and I'm going to write the drug amount as D. And this one is basically less than the least allowable weight. So if you attempt to weigh directly on a balance, you're going to exceed the maximum allowable error. So you have no choice but to weigh an amount of drug that is equal to the least allowable weight. Now this drug is present um, in the prescription with other exhibients at quantities that I'm going to call here as F. So again, instead of weighing D, which is impossible because it's such a small amount of drug, you're going to weigh an amount of drug Q equals to the least allowable weight, and you're going to mix it with lactose to form a stock powder S. Now this amount of stock powder uh, should be such that the ratio of D to the uh, mixture in the prescription stays the same. I know that it sounds too complicated, but believe me, when I proceed to the detailed description, everything hopefully will become clear. And again, remember, unless you practice a couple of times, uh, you won't be proficient. So you need to practice. But if you practice, you'll be really good. So let's just describe the method using an example. That's easier having numbers. A real example. So fill the prescription below for cluster headaches with a maximum allowable error of 5%. So you need to fill this prescription with a maximum allowable error of 5%. And the balance you, you are using to weigh these ingredients, prednisone and lactose, is um, of SR equal to 6 milligrams. Now, prednisone here is 0 0.002 grams and lactose QSR to 0 0.3 grams. So the first task here is to understand M and FT caps number one, DDT caps number XC, and the sigma here. We have to make sure we have to read and understand the directions here. Okay, so let's do that. 
So this is step one. So the first statement, lactose QSR 0.3 means that add sufficient quantity of lactose to make exactly 0.3 grams of mixture. Since the drug is two milligrams, the lactose in each capsule is 298 milligrams. Then it says mix and make capsule one. <clears throat> okay, so this 300 milligrams here is for one capsule. Now this pens give such doses, um, give 12 such doses. So you need to basically make 12 capsules, each one containing 300 milligrams of mixture, drug and lactose. So these are our calculations here. The drug needed to fill the prescription is two milligrams per cup times 12 cups, 24 milligrams. That's less than the least allowable weight. So therefore you need to use the aliquot method. If you attempt to weigh directly 24 milligrams on a balance, you're going to exceed the maximum allowable error. Now uh, my total mixture is 300 milligrams per capsule times 12 capsules. So that's 3,600 milligrams. Now the second step is to identify the number of weighings that involve the drug, the number of independent weighings, because each measurement that involves the drug will be accompanied by a certain error. And we're going to assign symbols to these measurements, capital letters, and the corresponding errors with small letters. Okay? So let's just do that. We have totally three measurements. The first one involves the drug that is going to be mixed with lactose to form the stock powder, and that's the Q. The error associated with the Q, so basically this is the least allowable weight, is Q small letter. So that's the error associated with Q. Then we are going to calculate how much aliquot we need to fill the prescription out of the stock powder. So I'm going to call aliquot as capital A, and the error associated with measuring the aliquot is small letter A. F is the final mixture, as I said, as we demonstrated before, that's 3,600 milligrams. And finally, uh, capital M is the uh, contents uh, of each capsule, the powder mixture of each capsule, and the M small letter is the error associated with uh, measuring each capsule. So my maximum allowable error is the result of Q, A, and M. And that should be 5%. That's equation to set. Okay. Now we can, we can easily calculate using equation 1, 5, the error associated with measuring each capsule. Each one of my capsules is 300 milligrams. The SR is 6 milligrams. And therefore the maximum potential error, I stress it, potential error, right? It's 2%. Now, why this has to be uh, calculated because you may measure a capsule and and uh, the measurement could be anywhere between 294 to 306 milligrams so in this case you're going to have more drug in this case you're going to have less drug that's why it has to be calculated and it is um, it has to be taken into consideration of the maximum allowable error because it is an independent measurement of the drug now let's talk about the aliquot uh, in this case, actually, because I'm setting the aliquot to be equal to my to the powder needed to fill the prescription, I'm not physically measuring an aliquot. I don't have to do that. So I'm go I'm going to measure directly the powder and fill the capsules from the stock powder. So there is really essentially no aliquot. There is an aliquot that we need to use to carry out our calculations, but we're not physically preparing an aliquot. Okay. So therefore, since I don't have an aliquot, I'm not physically preparing aliquot, that's zero. Um, and this 2% is M, and therefore the error associated with measuring the drug quantity Q, or the least allowable weight, is, 3%, that's a maximum allowable error. When I use equation 1,5 once more to measure the least allowable weight of my drug, six milligrams is my SR. Now, 3% of 
that's there, that's the error, times 100, my least allowable weight or the minimum uh, amount of drug that I can measure without exceeding the maximum allowable error is 200 milligrams. So you need to do that. So now we're ready to set up our ratio, our utility ratio really. So what I have here is the 24 grams. Oh, I wrote it over here, so that's fine. My aliquot is the total powder mixture needed, the total mixture needed to fill the, the 12 capsules. This is my least allowable weight, and now I need to calculate S. So cross multiply and get S equal to 30,000 milligrams. Since Q is 200 milligrams, my lactose is equal to 30,000 milligrams minus 200 milligrams, and that's 29,800 milligrams of lactose. So this is what we have here. Uh, we weigh 200 milligrams of drug, and we mix it with 29,800 milligrams of lactose to make 30 grams of stock mixture. From that, I'm gonna use each time 300 milligrams to fill each capsule. In these 300 milligrams, there should be two milligrams of drug. And notice there has to be, because this is a, this is a ratio, right? 200 over 30,000, you just write it here, is equal to 300, look at that, over 2. This is the magic of this. So we, we use this uh, ratio here just to calculate S. We are not physically prepared the aliquot. So there is no error associated with measuring an aliquot. So what do you do if you want to fill more capsules? Just weigh more powder from stock. You don't have to do any other calculations. Simple as that. Do not change F in the ratio of equation 2A. You don't have to do that. So equation 2A is a practical utility equation. If you need to fill more capsules, use more stock. Simple as that. We can verify our answer a number of ways. Um, here, basically, we have already done that. The error associated with each capsule is 2%. And now I need to calculate the error associated with the drug measurement, the drug measurement Q. Okay, um, the SR is equal to the DX here. So I'm using equation two, three, which we have extensively discussed in lesson three. So here, uh, this is my relative error. Okay, and you can see that this cancel out because it's the same SR, and DX now is the SR or the balance, which is six milligrams, and X is Q, which is 200 milligrams. So totally I have um, the relative error is 0 0.03 associated with the drug measurement, right? Or 3%. And therefore my total error, my total error is 2 plus 3, 5%. This is amazing. Finally, uh, as I described before, you have to practice um, if you are going to learn how to use this method. Practice makes perfect. Um, here in my answer, I have included uh, basically the answers um, which signify the method used. So for practical purposes, I have said the aliquot to be equal to the stock powder. And it, when I do that, the least allowable uh, weight for a drug is 242 milligrams. This is a very nice exercise. And the same thing I've done over here. Well, enjoy it. So at this point, I would like to thank you for your patience. Until next time.